Hey guys! So, this is gonna be one of those uh, editing tutorial type videos. Um, anyone new to my channel, I have a series called Splatoon Sounds, where I replace all the game audio with other game audio or, or various things. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a tutorial on how to do that. Um, so we're gonna go from start to finish, the whole process in detail, um, and in the description below I'll leave little timestamps so that you guys can skip to certain parts if you so choose. Alright, let's get started. Okay, first things first, we're gonna need footage to make a video, right? Um, we're gonna be doing Splatoon with Splatoon Sounds. It was the most requested by far by you guys, but it won't just be typical Splatoon video. There's, there's gonna be a bit of a twist to it, but more on that later. Um, so here we are in Splatoon, but we're not gonna jump right into a match. We need to dress up our Inkling first. I normally like to match it uh, to the game that I'm doing, but in this case it's Splatoon, so I guess really anything would've worked. So I just picked what I thought was a classic look for uh, Splatoon, at least based on the Amiibos, the male one anyways. Um, and then I just, I picked the, like, the vanilla splatter shot, because again, I thought that that was like a typical Splatoon look. The, the whole process of getting like the right footage for the video, um, can take anywhere, in my experience, between like an hour or two hours, but I've seen it take like four hours, it's really, like, it's your skill, but it's really luck. <laughs> so, this might take a lot longer than expected, um, so we'll speed up this part, and, uh, a future Vian <laughs> will be nice enough to, to add some music. Okay, <laughs> so uh, it didn't take as long as I thought. Um, it, this match, this is the match we're going to go with. Uh, it didn't have the best kill-death ratio, but the, the ending, um, which I, I think, me personally, when I edit a video, I think the beginning and the end is the most important. And the end of this match had a really good, uh, like a clutch, make-or-break kind of feel to it. So I think it's going to really work well in the video. But, um, so yeah, that's, that's all, that's all we need. We have our footage, um, so we're gonna get off Splatoon, head over to, to the computer, um, so we can move on to the next step. Okay, so it's around 8.40 now, it took about 40 minutes to get the footage that we wanted. And, uh, <laughs> I have the most unorganized folder, uh, set up here. <laughs> I named it all Splatoon, so when I finally got through all the Zelda footage, I, I found the, the, the Splatoon footage that, you know, we recorded earlier. And, uh, I just plugged that into my editing software, which is Final Cut, but a lot of people use Adobe Premiere, just use whatever you have, um, it all works. And then we head online to get the, uh, music and the sound effects for the game that we chose. So, in my case, I, I chose, you know, Splatoon, but uh, you might have picked a different game, so you're gonna look for sound effects and music for that said game, right? Um, one problem that I would run into sometimes, though, would be if I was doing a sounds video for a game that I've never played before. Because with that lack of exposure, I wouldn't know what was the right song or the right sound effects. Um, I, I would, you know, you could do some research and, and watch some game footage, but if you're trying to save some time, one trick that I found would be to look at the views um, on, like, you know, on YouTube to see which was the most popular song. Kind of give you a, a peek at what was popular for the game, right? So I, I know Splatoon, so I ended up uh, picking Splatfest. And the theory behind it was I thought that, you know, we don't have Splatfest anymore and we don't get to hear that, you know, iconic song that would play during Splatfest. So I thought if I chose that and people would hear it uh, during the video, it would bring back that nostalgia, that, you know, like, that good feels from <laughs> back in the day, uh, like a year ago <laughs> or two. But, um, and, you know, once, once that's done and while that's downloading, you can head over to... Um, I, I use Sound Resource as the website that I, I get all my sounds, but uh, sometimes it's really hard to find the sound files. It, if it's a game that is newly released or maybe a game that's not well known, then you're going to have a harder time finding the, the sound effects. So make sure you look at that first before you even start this whole process, I guess, because the last thing that you want would be to get all the footage and get everything all, you know, get all excited to, to make the video, but then you can't even find the sound effects. 
but yeah, so once you get all the sound effects, uh, and while that's downloading, you can go ahead and move on to the next step, which is going to be uh, adding the music in and, and clipping the footage around said music. Okay, so we got uh, our footage, we got the music and the sound effects for the game that we've chosen. So we have everything to make our masterpiece. Um, now we just got to edit it all together. And before we go ahead and start putting in the sound effects, um, we need to edit the footage around the music. And the way I like to think of it is like a drummer. I'm not a musician by any means, but I've heard <laughs> that uh, the drummer is the most important in a band because he's what controls, he or she, is what controls the tempo and is kind of the foundation of the of the of the band and keeps everything orderly right so this is the most important part i think um it's what keeps everything going smoothly so how i like to think of it is like how a splatoon music video would look like that's how i want to edit my video um and what i mean is you're listening to the song and maybe the beat drops or it changes to a different like tempo or a different part of the song you know it the song changes so you want to clip your video there to maybe a later part in your footage um it just kind of it keeps things going right and i've said this before in a stream but if you can help it i mean it's not a requirement but if you can help it the end of your clip uh of your footage um should kind of match the beginning of the next clip um what I mean is, it's, uh, I think the film theorists were the ones that mentioned this, but when you can tell when a film has been made well, uh, when your eyes don't have to jump around the screen. So, you know, it, it switches from one scene to another, uh, different characters or different, different actors or whatever, if it's a movie, different scene. But if you were looking at the top left portion at someone's face and then it switches over and now you got your focus is going to go to the bottom right, that's going to confuse your viewer. And when people watch a Splatoon video, they're constantly looking at your inkling. So if you can, maybe you're, you're, you know, you're, you're a roller and you're halfway through the, the flick uh, and you're ending the clip there, then the new clip, if you can help it again, if not, then don't worry about it. But if you can, uh, make it so that it's, you're finishing the flick on the next clip. Um, it'll, it just makes things a lot more smoother. When I started doing it, I found that my videos became a lot better. But I mean, okay, if you can't do it, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just being a perfectionist. Um, and don't be afraid to like speed up or slow down your video if uh, if you need to, to match like the music. Um, like Just a little bit though, not too much, or people will notice. If you record it at 60 frames a second, um, then they they might not even notice because, you know, it's you're not losing too many frames. But uh, like I said earlier, just think of a music video. Edit it in that kind of fashion and you'll have a good foundation. Um, and lastly, I always put my outro in at the end. Um, like months ago, I ended up making, uh, I don't know how to explain it, maybe in a different video I'll, I'll show you how to do it, but uh, like a drag and drop of my outro so that I can just, I, I literally just clip out the end portion of the, the footage that I, you know, it's going to be included in the outro. Cut that out and then I just drag and drop my outro in and then I plug that information in or that, that video in with the other featured video that I'm maybe like a previous video or something. Um, it just makes things easier. And also I didn't want my outro changing or like, you know, maybe I have a bad day <laughs> and I, I accidentally make it a little too fast or too short or something. I want it to be something that people would get used to and, and that you could, you know, it's always the same every single time. But, um, yeah, so that that's the music portion. Uh, that's the most I still think is the most important thing um, Once you have all that down packed then comes the fun part where we can start putting the sound effects in Okay, so it's 930 now it took about 45 minutes to an hour to get the music and the the footage edited and in place um, now for the fun part well it's I find it fun <laughs> some people might not it's it's definitely the most tedious um, and that's putting the sound effects in this process normally takes somewhere between two to four hours but really it can take more it can take five six hours it's like I like to think of it as painting a picture you can just you can add and add details right and you can keep adding and spend more time on it until you're happy with it or you're just lacking sleep <laughs> um, but this is where your research pays off so if you know the game that you're doing uh, that's the best choice if not you should you know look at some gameplay so you know because 
And trust me, I've done this. <laughs> but not knowing your game and putting sound effects in where maybe, you know, wasn't the best choice, it didn't belong there. People will notice, the people that have played the game before, um, and they'll call you out on it because uh, people will notice things that are wrong before they notice that it's right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, anyways, knowing the game that you, you chose will definitely pay off here. Um, the, the best way to add the sounds in uh, is just to do them one at a time, I found. So I would, let's say for instance, you're starting with uh, uh, the inkling going in, in the ink, right? Your, your character going in ink, the sound effect for that. So you go through your sounds and you try to find one that, um, that kind of resembles it or something that you think would be appropriate. Um, put it into your, your editor, but then cut it, cut it out. Uh, so it's on your, your clipboard. And then just literally scrub through your footage until you see yourself slowly, so you, you can see it. Um, until you see yourself go in the ink, and then, you know, it's Command-V for to paste, and on Mac, I, I think it's like Control-V on computer, on PC, but you just paste it, right? And you, you scrub through until you see yourself go in ink again, paste it in, and you can watch it back later, make sure it all timed up properly, or you didn't miss any by accident. Um, you'll see it, trust me. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, yeah, I found that was easier to go one by one so you don't end up overwhelming yourself. It's very systematic. Um, and work on the most important sounds first. So I found, you know, going in ink or jumping uh, or like shooting ink, the sound effect for that, or even bombs going off. Those are the those are the most important. If you miss those, then it's, it's empty. And then after that, then you can go into the smaller ones like enemy sounds or, or swimming, um, like call outs or uh, like throwing a bomb. You get the idea. And then you can go even further and change like volume. So let's say there's a bomb, uh, like a splat bomb that blew up uh, far away. Then you can turn down the volume for that because you know it's in the distance. You can't really hear it as easily. But don't worry about adding a lot of sounds. Uh, I mean, with a lot of sounds going on, it's going to be busy. I I like to keep it simple and not have too too many sounds at one given time. If you see an empty patch with you know no sounds afterwards, you can definitely plug something in because you don't want nothing going on. But I think it's more about the timing because people will notice if it's off sync and that's going to ruin your video a lot more than not having enough sounds or something, you know? Um, at the end of this, I ended up realizing that I wanted the losing music <laughs> because uh, the Splatoon sounds video, it was going to be not just the, the normal sounds, I was remixing it and, and putting the wrong songs in place. I was hoping that someone who watched the video would think that... Uh, or someone, who, sorry, someone who's watched the video and hasn't played Splatoon before would think that it's normal. Nothing, nothing was done to <laughs> edit it, <laughs> which is funny to me. <laughs> but um, so yeah, anyways, I ended up going back and changing it to the losing music because I thought that would be funny to someone who actually has played Splatoon before and watched the video and thought, yeah, hey, I saw what you did there. <laughs> so you know, a couple few hours later, that's that's the bulk of the work. You got the sounds, the music, and the footage. You can add, you know, your intro, your outro, or whatever. And, uh, and then you're done. You just go ahead and compile it into a pretty package to upload to the YouTubes, um, to which we will be doing our next step. Okay, and it's 11.30, so it took about two hours to, um, to finish that up, put the sound effects in, and two hours is relatively not that long. <laughs> I've, I've done videos and it's taken much, much longer, probably because I didn't know the game that I was doing. Um, in this case, it's Splatoon, so I knew what I was doing, uh, so it was, it was fairly easy. And uh, it's also worth noting that I ended up going back uh, into YouTube, grabbing all the comments that you guys uh, sent me requesting this video, and then of course I had to find music, so I could put all that in the beginning of the video. But um, yeah, once all that was said and done, I start the compile process. Um, your computer's probably a lot faster than mine is, <laughs> but if you do have a slow computer like mine, that might take some time, so I use that time to uh, jump into Photoshop and make my thumbnail and um, the two things I look out for is uh, one you know you want to have some nice artwork I usually want to have something that kind of meshes Splatoon with the game that you chose let's say it was Mario then it might be an inkling with the Mario hat on or something um, or you know whatever whatever you end up choosing um, and then of course you want to have like, some nice big text to kind of describe like what's happening in the video or something something to catch someone's eye um, where I find my artwork is usually going to be either on Pinterest or 
uh, Google image search, really, <laughs> DeviantArt, Tumblr, uh, or just random websites that Google probably takes me to. Um, I just make sure that, to keep the link, copy it, so that I can I can put it in the description and, and give them credit on the video. And and then yeah, then you upload it and you put your tags in and yeah, oh yeah. I mean, you guys know this part. <laughs> this part's pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, that's that's the whole process from like recording to uploading the video to YouTube. That's the whole the whole shebang. <laughs> and by no means am I trying to make this seem like it's the perfect way to edit or anything. This is just how I do it. Um, I'm sure, and I'm, I'm hoping one of you are watching this and thinking, Vian, dude, why are you even doing it like that? That's that's so redundant and if so please let me know in the comments below because you might save me like half an hour or an hour of my time <laughs> which i'd love you for <laughs> um otherwise thank you so much for watching all this i hope you guys took something from it and uh here's the outro come on Stay salty.